All right, so we got a little video of my 3650 watt IR Furman generator, inverter generator. It's got remote start. And I'm running it through a 3000 watt transformer. So I'm boosting it from single phase or 120 volts uh, single phase to split phase uh, 240 volts. So it has a line of uh, 120 volts, another line of 120, and then it also has a line of 240. And I set my uh, magnet sand waves to use 8 amps at 240 volts. It could probably handle more, but it is running everything in my house right now, including a few ACs and it's also charging the batteries a little bit sometimes it goes to zero uh, amps and charge just because of whatever starts in the house but it is running really well I'm gonna run for a couple hours because it's brand new and I gotta do my braking period and then I got to change the oil I am pulling around I would say a little over 50 percent I've already run this for a few hours with no load now I'm running with about 50% load, a little over. And yeah, and you'll see my super hodgepodge uh, connection here. That's just to, uh, I, I, I don't want to just run this thing and waste power with like a heater. Oh, it's idling down, look at that. That's awesome. Oh, idling up again, running something in the house really like this thing so far i hope it lasts a long time anyways let's go inside okay so even though the generator is running oh we just went to plus something must have shut off so we're only putting 100 watts into the batteries but it's running everything in the house it looks like something turned on now we're pulling power from the batteries again because we do have uh 8000 watt reliable inverter running directly off the batteries uh, separate from the charging system so we're going plus minus plus minus plus minus it is only a 3600 watt generator which can do 3300 watts continuous uh, I would not want to do 3300 watts continuous because that's just really hard on the unit so let's go see what else it's doing all right it's running so well it's idling down, so obviously if it's idling down, we cannot be pushing that much power. So, I'm going to turn up the amps and see what happens. Alright, so I got the generator set for 11 amps AC at 240 volts, which is around 2600 watts. And we got 850 watts going into the batteries. And that is after running everything in the house, which includes one AC unit, uh, actually two AC units really, uh, even though the one AC unit is going through another inverter, it still uh, is calculated in this right here, this output, and yeah, looking pretty good. Alright, so it ran my house for a while at 11 amps at 240 volts is around 2600 watts but there is a surge when my water pump my 240 volt water pump turns on it can't handle the surge and kicks out before the magnesium inverters actually kick out so I gotta adjust the voltage on the magnesium inverters so that it, they kick out earlier which I have not done yet uh, to compensate but so this will charge the batteries, but the second there's uh, if it's running 2600 watts and say an extra 2000 watts kicks in, it does kick out, or 20, maybe 2500 watts for the well pump. Anyways, it's it's running really well. It doesn't bog whatsoever. It, it honestly it kicks out. And it doesn't even seem like it's having a hard time, which I think it's because they upgraded the motor from like 170 something cc to 193. And I really like it, it's nice and quiet. Like it's actually quite quiet. 
it's between my car and my garage so there's it's nothing here that would make it sound quieter if, it, if this this was in the middle of nowhere oh we're overloading look at that even caught it it got a little backfire caught it on uh, camera there it did overload and I believe that was the water pump and a, a big thing also is this transformer here max it can do is about 3,000 watts so the second the house goes over that it starts uh, uh, the, what's the word for it uh, it's like it, it starts over it almost soaking too much power goes into it and it becomes almost like a resistor it just starts heating up and that seems to be what's happening here because this can do more than 3,000 watts anyways thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video I really do like this generator it's not designed for a whole house like it I've been using it oh maybe I'll show you guys the remote feature that this thing comes with this thing goes about 50 to uh, 75 feet let's see let's shut it down is it not ready you gotta wait for that uh, flashing light there oh, and I also wonder if it doesn't work if it's overloaded which is very interesting what's this see that's off that is on Yeah, I don't think it works once overloaded. You have to come outside and physically shut it off. You gotta physically turn it back on. Hit the remote button. So it is on solid. I don't know if you have to wait till it blinks or solid. I can't remember. Let's try starting it. Okay, so it's still solid. Does not want to turn on yet. I believe that light has to be blinking. Yeah, see, it, you just have to wait for it to be ready. Okay, I'm going to shut this off for now. Because I gotta adjust some things in the magna sign so this stops overloading. But uh, awesome. Go through to the start up. We got power again. Yeah, really like this generator, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.